welcome back to my channel this is opening the vault and today i'm doing a video with a whole bunch of moving parts i'm doing empties favorites and like a mini haul of products i just recently picked up you can see on the back there's one of my cats she's just chilling in a box that i haven't unpacked yet even though i've been living here for a bit um also it's really hot anyone who's living in a climate where it's like summer right now it's hot I have a fan in here, so if it's like loud, please excuse it. But I am so ready to get started and show you all the products that I've been using up, loving, and the products that I just got. This is gonna be a really fun video for me, and I hope it'll be a fun video for you. So just keep watching. So I just went through my little empties bag, and there aren't a lot of products in it. So in the last three months, I didn't really finish much because the first three months of the year, I kind of knocked out anything that was almost done. And then I had like a few things that were basically finished that I finished in the next three months. So here's half over and all of my products that were like pretty much done are gone. Most of my products have half or more in them, but you'll see in some of my favorites that I'm really getting those products down because I've just been using them so much. So for my empties, I have, of course, a Camille Rose Curl Maker, just one. I have updated the way I do my wash and goes. You can see in um, my updated wash and go routine here. I use my gels differently, so I'm not going through them as quickly, which is awesome because this gel is expensive. Yeah, completely empty, love it. I have one that I'm working on now, and I think I have three backups, so I should be good on Camille Rose for the rest of the year. I also have the Dew Mousse Def Texture Foam. The top is so gross, because it's just been like rolling around and stuff. I feel like this might be my favorite gel, sorry, my favorite mousse, but I don't really use mousse enough to like rebuy this. I have the B-Girl version of this, and like a few other mousses in my collection but if I were to like stick with one mousse I'd probably stick with this one just because I don't really use it I don't use mousse so this would be like a topper or a refresher but like I don't use mousse enough to like have a favorite gel I keep saying gel I don't have mousse enough to use a favorite to have a favorite mousse but this stuff is actually really good I finished a big thing of the blueberry bliss um, hair vitamins and then I have a smaller one and then I have one in my fridge that I'm working on and I think I have one or two more of these big ones that I'm working on and as for the hair vitamins I mean my hair is growing out like a lot but I don't know if it's growing any faster my hair is pretty much like growing out at about the same rate if I can tell but I will do a video on these vitamins, maybe. I just feel like I'm not consistent enough to actually give these vitamins a good review. And because I've been using them on and off from the beginning of the year, it's hard to have like a starting point for when I actually start. Yeah, so I enjoy those vitamins and I'll probably still take them as long as I have them and as long as I can get them for like a cheaper price. But as for like anything I've noticed in like hair growth, there's not really, not really anything there. So next I have the Lux Locks Blueberry Cream Pie Deep Conditioner. Lo this is literally like one of my favorite deep conditioners. Completely empty. Love this stuff. And then I have the Curl Peace Tenderhead Pre-Shampoo Detangler. Completely empty. This was really easy to finish because I originally got it to detangle my girlfriend's hair. She has like really, 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 really long like wavy hair that gets super tangled so I whenever I would like to tangle her hair I would use that and then after a while I just like I started putting her hair in twists so it's a lot easier to just keep it detangled and then I just finished that up I stopped pre-pooing for a while because my hair was so used to being detangled and then after like a couple of months of not pre-pooing I started to notice the difference and last night when I was pre-pooing for the wash day that I did for this this wash and go um more on this wash and go later but i think i i think i broke some of my hair off yeah right there 
right right there i broke some of my hair off when i was pre pooing because i was trying to i was trying to see something whatever i used a white tooth comb to detangle my hair and then i don't know why but i was like i haven't used my tangle teaser in so long so i was like using my tangle teaser minding my business but i think i got too comfy with it and also i pre pooed out of the shower and i never use my ta uh, tangle teaser out of the shower i made a really dumb mistake because i was just exper experimenting and i like broke off some of my hair but it's fine it'll grow out i feel like i keep making these silly mistakes and my hair keeps like <sighs> anyway um i have some like short pieces in my hair from like bleach damage i'll do a video on that when i bleach my roots and then this is the only like mechanical damage i have and then other than that my curls are just fine it's just so funny that i keep doing these silly things to like accidentally damage my hair but that's life so those are all the empties i have it's not a lot six six products that's not a lot to finish in three months because like i said most of the products that i have are very very full so going into my spring and summer favorites i'm going to do them in wash day order so we're going to start with pre-poo cleansers and any of my deep conditioners that i've been loving my favorite pre-poo at the moment and probably the pre-poo that's going to be with me for the rest of forever in my stash because it's so affordable smells good and it works like i said i usually pre-poo outside of the shower and i just finger detangle i know that i should never detangle if i'm not in the shower under wet hair so that said i do love this pre-poo my damage over here was my fault not the pre-poo's fault um but it is the african pride moisture miracle aloe and coconut water pre-poo <clears throat> this is a staple in the natural community it is so bright outside this is a staple in the natural community it is well loved and i think it's awesome it, i have like no, I like how it smells. I have like, I have no idea if you can see that. Most of it is empty. This is like 25% empty. So this one I will be finishing up pretty soon. And this is the only pre-poo I use at the moment. I have a moisturizing shampoo, also from Af African Pride Moisture Miracle line. This is the Honey and Coconut Oil Shampoo. I have been using this shampoo since either 2020 or 2019 and i love it this is like my second or third bottle i have another bottle in my stash this stuff is so moisturizing i can detangle with it it leaves my hair clean and soft and it is like almost done it's like all the way down here i just started using this again after a while i was really enjoying some of my other shampoos but sometimes a staple is just a staple you know i will always go back to this moisturizing shampoo it's my favorite i also have the cream of nature plex breakage defense step two restoring shampoo this is another shampoo even though it's a protein shampoo it's also i would consider one of my most moisturizing shampoos it does have sulfates in it it has sulfates and protein and it's just so soft on my hair my hair is so soft and so curly after I use this. It's so, I love it. This is a great shampoo. I almost forgot. I do have the um, step one bond mender that goes along with the shampoo. Oh my gosh, it's so bright in here. And this stuff is, I would consider like a protein pre-poo and it's awesome. Sort of an honorable mention because I don't use this product as much as I used to at the beginning of the year because I have more time. But I feel like now that work is getting really busy, I'm going to start phasing this back in. This is the As I Am Coconut Co-Wash. This is the first co-wash that I've ever used, like seriously or ever actually used. It makes wash day so easy. I get in the shower, I detangle with this. While the product is still in my hair, I wet it, massage my scalp, work it through my strands. I twist my hair up, put it under a cap so then I condition with it, and then I take the cap off and rinse it out and my wash day is done. This stuff is awesome. This stuff is so, so, so awesome. And I have like just a little bit left. 
So since I'm going to be using this again, this is going to be in a future empty. So a lot of the products here in my favorites are going to be empties pretty soon. Um, but I'm just really excited to like use these. I have doubles or triples or quadruples of some of these. And then I just need to buy more when I get to it. But yeah, the As I Am Coconut Co-Wash is a really great co-wash. Now onto my wash day conditioning products. I had trouble calling these favorites because they're kind of like more than favorites. They're just staples. Like if I need a deep conditioner, I reach for these. Yes, they are my favorite, but it's like, like, oh, when you need to be hydrated, you reach for water. You know, like, yeah, water can be your favorite drink, but it's like, what else am I thinking of when I want to be hydrated? Maybe Gatorade, but you know what I mean. Um, I have the Lux Lux Blueberry Cream Pie Deep Conditioner. This has been, I don't know how many bottles of this I've been through, but I love this stuff. I have this bottle and I think I have one more in my stash, but it takes me forever to get through deep conditioners, believe it or not, because I deep condition on like soaking wet hair. I actually don't use a lot. So I have right up to here left. I've also been using the Nature's Little Secret Agave Nectar Moisturizing Treatment. I haven't done a video on this because I just haven't gotten to it yet. But I do really, really, really like this deep conditioner. I'm almost done with it and yet I have not done a video on it. It's literally, let me hold it down here. This product is literally almost done. Like it's all the way down here. I'm literally seeing the bottom of the jar. I need to do a video on this. I have another one. I have an extra. I bought two of these thinking that I would love it and I didn't. So this is a favorite. And another deep conditioner that is, I would say somewhat of a favorite in the natural hair community. I don't hear about it as often, but I know it's liked. The Camille Rose Algae Renew Deep Conditioning Mask with Cocoa and Mango Butter. This stuff is great. It's so soft, so silky. I feel like there's not a lot in the jar. If we can be honest for a second, I think it's like, yeah, I think it's a double walled jar. So like I hit the bottom of this before I thought I should have. There's very little left. It's like down here but like the actual bo bottom of the jar is here. So I only have like, like this much product, like that much product left. So that's interesting because it is pretty expensive, but I would get this like on sale and just stock up. So yeah, those are all my favorite wash day products. Going on to leave-ins, stylers, and refreshers. My favorite leave-in which is interesting to say because the first time I used this leave-in, I was like, oh, this isn't that special. Like, it's not super moisturizing, but I used it, you know, more, and I ended up loving it. And it is the Kinky Curly Not Today. I got this recently. I don't think I've had this for more than, like, maybe a month or two. I actually don't remember when I bought this. If I remember when I bought it, I'll put it on the screen. But I haven't had this that long. And it is, like almost empty i have been using this up i want this to be in my stash at all times it's so awesome i can define my hair with this i can detangle it moisturizes <sighs> this stuff is so great and since my new wash and go technique is to moisturize and define my hair with leave-in this stuff is perfect it's absolutely perfect the other leave-in that is also perfect with my new wash and go technique of moisturizing and defining my hair with a leave-in first is the Mixed Chicks Leave-In Conditioner. This stuff, so bright, this stuff is unexpected. I have never used Mixed Chicks product, but I know that the leave-in is like a favorite amongst the people who use it. And it's a really good leave-in. It's moisturizing. It gives insane curl definition. It's really thick and it has like, I noticed that when I used this with the Camille Rose Curl Maker, it actually gave it more hold, which is very interesting. But I know that some people use the Mixed Chicks leave-in as a styler. So when my hair is like longer, 
I'll probably do that because I'm a little afraid of the shrinkage that just a leave-in wash and go would give me. But this stuff is great. The only downside, so for example, the Kinky Girly Not Today smells so good. It smells so good. This stuff smells like freshly cut grass. Yeah, it smells like freshly cut grass or like some products that like you would get in a professional salon. I'm not the biggest fan of this, of the smell of it, but the product itself is awesome and I've been loving it. So these are the only two leave-ins I've really been using. And a kind of another unexpected favorite in the gel category is the Twisted Sista Amazing Dream Curl Gel. This gel has been in my stash for a little while. I've been using this gel since before they changed the formula. And this new formula I think is actually better. It's a lot softer. I have a lot more movement. It's actually what's in my hair now. And I did a video on it, so I'll link that in the eye. Um, this is a great gel. It's very surprising because I don't see almost anybody talking about it, but it's a really, really, really great gel. And on to a permanent staple is the Camille Rose Curl Maker. Love, love, love. I've been going through this bottle very slowly because I've been using it with my new technique. So this should actually last me a pretty long time. And then a new favorite, along with the Kinky Curly Not Today, is the Kinky Curly Curling Custard. This gel is also one of the reasons why I wanted to rework my wash and go routine. This is a small jar and it's expensive, but I used most of this on like three or four uses. And then my most recent use, I used like so little of it. So I can't wait to buy a new jar and use it slowly because I have a new method of using it. So excited, this stuff is great. It's very soft, very silky. It gives my hair a lot of like motion and like elongation. It's great. And then my favorite refresher is the Lux Lux Fruit Punch Refresher Spray. This stuff is great. I literally have like almost nothing left, but I'm just pouring it out into my hands and using it. The next time I get this, I want to get the liter size, which is why I haven't bought it yet, because the liter size is like $60 plus shipping. And I'm like, do I really want to spend like 70 something, $80 on like one product? I don't know. I probably will, but just not right now. And so these are all my favorites. I think that a lot of these products have the potential of being in like my final minimal stash, which is really exciting for me because I have over a hundred products. I think I have like 118. I have like a running Excel sheet where I keep track of everything. And that was before YouTube. I've been running that Excel sheet for like three or four years now. So it's a lot. But also I finished like 80 something products in the last few years. So it kind of kind of balances out yeah but my goal is to have a minimal stash and i think these favorites have a really good chance of making it all the way now another really exciting part of this video are some new products that i picked up and if you've seen my most recent short i mentioned some of these products in it and they are the ajua beauty blue tansy line believe it or not i got these products at marshall's for an insane discount. I got the reparative conditioner, the reparative mask, and the treatment serum, which is beautiful. Look at that packaging. So for all three of these um, products, I got for the price of just this one, which was $36. But this alone is $40. I got, I either got lucky or I should get used to Marshall's having like higher end natural hair products. This stuff is awesome. And so because they only have the conditioner, the mask and the treatment serum, I went to Sephora and I got the leave-in and the shampoo. And since they were also having a sale on some of the bread stuff, I got the bread hair oil, which the packaging, y'all, the pack, the packaging on this is so cute. I couldn't help myself. I got the small one because I don't use a lot of oil, 
but the medium size this is the small size they have a medium and a large the medium size of this gel the medium size of this oil looks like this one in the same cute round bottle with this little top oh, so excited i cannot wait to do a video on the ajua beauty line just looking at these products makes me so happy but that is all of my empties my favorite spring and summer products and my most recent haul i cannot wait to do more videos in the upcoming like summer and fall i'm so excited so so excited thank you for watching leave your comments down below if there's anything you want to see just let me know thanks for watching